So, uh, Marvel's posted about two teasers about the return, the supposed return of the Fantastic Four. I'm just gonna give my quick thoughts about this. Um, first off, um, if you can hear the cricket, like the first past few videos, I'm pretty sure you can hear this cricket in the background. I'm trying to find it and trying to <laughs> kill it. Um, anyway, um, yeah, uh, first teaser was basically, um, it just showed the writing, it showed the uh, picture of the globe and the Fantastic Four emblem, uh, and showed Hickman and all them. And then we got this teaser right here. It was basically uh, Reed, uh, Peter, Ben and Sue as the Fantastic Four, so maybe it's not exactly, because people were actually flipping out that, oh, they're bringing back Johnny already, it's only been a couple months, and that would have been, like, one of the shortest comic book deaths either, as well, but, uh, maybe they're, I don't know what they're gonna do with the F Future Foundation, because they haven't really confirmed anything, they haven't really said, like, oh, we're gonna stop the Future Foundation and go right back to, uh, uh, Fantastic Four. They haven't really said anything about that. They're just saying, hey, Fantastic Four's coming back, so I don't know if they're gonna renumber it by November, or they're gonna come out with a new book, or just rename it Fantastic Four and go back to number one, which I feel like is, no matter how you look at it, it's kinda dumb. Unless you kinda go with, like, there's Future Foundation and there's found Fantastic Four. Like, maybe you can have the Fantastic Four, like, right here, the four of them in their own book, and still have the Future Foundation um, with Doctor Doom and Dragon Man and all the other, because they didn't really, they haven't really given a lot of out. They've just been giving vague Marvel teasers, as Duke and Manos usually say. I'm just gonna copy that a bit, but yeah, I don't know how to feel about this. I mean, like, so far they haven't really said, "Hey, Johnny's com Johnny's coming back from the dead." They haven't really said anything about that yet, so you can't really judge it on that basis. But people are even speculating that even the Fantastic Four might not focus on, um, it, they may not focus on the four, these four characters right here, they may still be part of Future Foundation, it might be four other Fantastic, you know, uh, members of the Fantastic Four, like, uh, maybe we'll see, like, She-Hulk and, uh, uh, other villains for the, for the team over the years, like, maybe we'll see four other villain members, um, join together, while the rest of the team's out, or, you know, it's, it's all speculation at this point, and I really just don't know, but, you know, if it, um, it's all speculation, basically. I'm, I'm gonna say that there's, I'm gonna say either A, they're going to renumber the book back to Fantastic Four, which is completely pointless, because by then it would be only, what, 10 or 12 issues, and it'd just be kind of pointless, like, oh, 12 issues, we're gonna go right back to number one, but call it Fantastic Four. It's the same thing with why I had the problem with the, uh, Incredible Hulk book. It's like, was it so hard for J for Marvel to have Jason Aaron and Mark Silvestri to go back uh, to just continue where Greg Pak left off at the 600th issues, you know, rather than go, oh, we're going right back to number one. So I feel like I, I feel like that's probably the biggest case. Like they're gonna say Fantastic Four right back to number one um, after only 10 or 12 issues, which is something I find it's it's point it's confusing, but I feel like that's the biggest one. Two is that we get we get two teams basically the Fantastic Four and the Future Foundation. I don't know who would be on what team, but that's probably the second guess. And that's probably the least likely. Um, you know, I'm as much as, I'm not I'm not mad. That's the thing. I'm not mad about this. I could care less. I I haven't been keep, I've been trying to keep up with Future Foundation. Uh, I've been meaning to collect the trades. So. I don't know, but in, in all seriousness, uh, I don't care. Like, if whatever happens, happens. I'm not going to read it. I haven't been reading. I'll just wait for trade. That's basically how it is. I'm just speculating. I'm not mad about this at all, and I'm sorry if that's what it sounds like, but truthfully, I don't care. I just... <laughs> But I know there's a lot of Fantastic Four fans, and I've been meaning to get into Future Foundation, like I said. I think I'm just going to wait for, like, a trade of it, and see how I like it from there. Um, I have read, I have read like, some stuff on, like, some of the Marvel previews here and there, but all in all, I haven't been keeping up, like, fully, so... And it's not like Marvel's done this before. That's the, that's the biggest thing. Like, why am I not surprised or shocked that Marvel does something like this? 
At this point, nothing Marvel can do at this point surprises me. And uh, nothing really, you know, well, at least in the Mar 616 universe. Uh, Ultimate Universe, I don't care. I really do not care what happens in the Ultimate Universe. Uh, I, I'm starting to care less about the 616 universe. Like, s the stuff I'm finding, the more stuff that comes out, it's like, why bother? You know? So, this is why I'm starting to stick to more independent stuff, but I felt like I should bring this up because this is some, this is kind of like news people would want to talk about. But anyway, yeah. Also, I'm not going to be talking about I should also mention right here that I'm not going to be talking about the whole new Ultimate Spider-Man because I hate the Ultimate Universe. I do not care for the Ultimate Universe people. So, for those who are wondering if I'm going to talk about that, I'm not. I don't. I don't care. I haven't cared about Ultimate Universe since Ultimatum. Even less than like I've cared less about Ultimate Universe since the end when you know when Mark Bagley left Ultimate Spider-Man. So, nothing really interests me in the Ultimate Universe. Like, nothing that comes out, I want to read. And, you know, I'm sorry, but that's how I feel. So, that's why I didn't want to talk about the ultimate, the stuff that's going on in the Ultimate Universe. So, And, you know, like I said, that's why I wanted to bring it up at the end of this video, because I knew when I was going to talk about it, I don't care, I don't care what, new, like, whatever comes out of Marvel that's going to promise big, awe-striking changes is going to shock me anymore. So, yeah, um, sorry about that little rant right there, but I just felt like I had to get my message across, and I'm really sorry to sound like a jerk right there, I really do, I just, like I said, had to get my message across, and, you know, like I said, I don't know what they're gonna do exactly, because they're just giving out vague Marvel teasers, um, so, yeah, anyway, uh, I think I'm gonna stop the vid right here, you guys tell me what you think, of the new Fantastic Four, and what do you think they're going to do with the Future Foundation? Do you guys think they're going to bring back Johnny Storm? Uh, do you think they're going to... What do you think they're going to do, and what ideas... Um, what crazy ideas do you guys have for this new Fantastic Four book, and what do you think the future of this team is going to be like? Later.